Ryan here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we have ourselves an epic preview for Pokemon Journeys. Many of you guys have been going crazy about this, we're about to do it now, baby, let's go! Now guys, make sure you show the original video some love, links also will be in the description box down below. Let's get into this, baby, let's go! Oh, we gotta go here! And Rabu, and we got Ash and Pikachu... Dodging them Thunderbolts. Oh, Champion Leon times. Oh, yeah. And we got Team Rocket, too. And what? What the hell? Was that their Gigantamax Meowth? Okay, we got Raihan and Duraluna. There's Zapdos. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh, there's Dragapult. Rhydon, Marshtomp, Ludicolo, Flygon. Holy cow. Uh-oh. There's Chairman Rose. And Olina and whoa oh. Oh, that don't look good. That really don't look good, man. Uh-oh. Oh, there's Sonya. Oh! Look at all those Dynamax Pokemon! They look like they're in discomfort here. Hey, whoa! What the Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, whoa! Oh, there they are! Dude! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. That's not good. That is... Oh, there's Eternatus! Yes! Yes! Eternatus! <laughs> Mewtwo 2! Seriously? What what kind of role is Mewtwo gonna have in this, I wonder? Oh my god. Are you absolutely shitting me right now? What the fuck? Oh my god! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's evaluation time. Let's get started, guys. And my god, there is a lot to unpack here. And we start things off in a big way. We have ourselves a go. Ash and Champion Leon all in action, and even Team Rocket as well, and we have ourselves a Gigantamax Meowth, that's gotta be Team Rocket's Meowth, finally being able to Gigantamax, my god, I cannot wait to see how that plays out, and I especially can't wait to see the reaction Team Rocket's gonna have on their faces when that happens. Now, something that really stands out to me here right from the get-go is we have ourselves go with a Dynamax ban, and it looks like he is about to utilize Dynamax here, and it looks like behind him, we have ourselves part of the Stolen Side mural, so... This right here is absolutely shaping up to be hella hyped. Now we also see the likes of Raihan and his Duraludon in action, and we also have Sonya looking on as well. So Sonya is obviously going to be making her return during the Sword and Shield chapter arc. Now we also see Zapdos attacking Raboot and Pikachu. Now I am willing to bet that is obviously going to be the Zapdos that we are going to be seeing in episode 40, the Raid Zapdos, and this right here is going to be huge if that Zapdos gets caught by either Ash or Go. Now, interestingly enough, we also see the appearances from the likes of Dragapult, Rhydon, and we also see Marshtomp and Ludicolo. And that, I believe, is the same Ludicolo that we have seen in the opening over the last several episodes, along with the group of Marshtomp. So, I'm wondering if perhaps maybe that Ludicolo might be captured as well, and if that's the case, then who would get that Ludicolo? But then things really, really start picking up when we get to the debut of Rose and Olina, and they appear to be in the Hammerlock Energy Plant, where that gigantic ball is suddenly activating, and we see a numerous amount of Dynamax Pokemon, and they all appear to be in major discomfort, you know what I'm saying? So, this definitely, definitely isn't looking too good right now. And there's a bunch of other little scenes showcased in real quick succession, such as Sonya crashing through the gate, 
Ash flying on Dragonite, and we can also see, if we pay very close attention, we can see in the top left-hand corner is a part of Eternatus, and we see Leon's Charizard battling it. Oh my god, this is absolutely crazy. I'm getting goosebumps right now, man. Holy cow. And then comes the part, ladies and gents, where we have ourselves the awakening of Zacian and Zamazenta, and they are both in their crowned forms. They are not messing around, baby. They are absolutely not messing around. And we see the appearance in full of Eternatus and that right there just absolutely has me hyped beyond description. Now, something else that has me extremely hyped and quite curious is this appearance of Mewtwo. What on earth type of purpose is it going to have here? Why is it appearing all of a sudden? You know what I'm saying? Like, I am absolutely stumped, if I'm going to be honest with you. So overall, guys, what are your thoughts and opinions about what we had just witnessed and talked about? Oh my god, there is honestly so much to look forward to in the next several weeks when it comes to Pokemon Journeys, man. Like, my god, I just, I absolutely cannot wait. That's pretty much the best way I can sum it up. So, whatever you guys' thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them, guys, in the comments down below. And, ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, that's going to be a wrap-up here for this video. So, I want to say thank you guys for much watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly, guys, smash it up in the comments down below, because I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will, that ain't ever going to change, baby. You can believe that. Woo! So, thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone. And your boy, we'll see you guys in the next one.